Born in 2226 near the Boneyard as Edward Sallow, he was once a citizen of the New California Republic. Following the death of his father at the hands of raiders in 2228, his mother sought the protection of the followers of the Apocalypse. While she worked for the followers, cooking and cleaning in their library, the young Edward learned how to read and started taking courses, provided by the organization free of charge. Taught to bring the torch of knowledge to the wastes, Sallow was a student of uneven quality. Though he was highly intelligent, his success in scientific pursuits was only proportional to his interest in the given subject, nor was he particularly popular among his peers, due to his bad temper and narcissistic attitude. For Sallow, the followers were never an inspiring example, their devotion to scholarship too stifling, their mission of enlightenment too naive. In 2246, the 20 year old Sallow was an anthropologist and linguist. To benefit from his talents, the followers sent him east towards the Grand Canyon, on his first expedition. Accompanied by a physician named Bill Calhoun and seven others, he was tasked with learning the dialects of the tribes inhabiting the region. On the way to the canyon, he and his companions happened upon a cache of historical books, the most significant to Sallow were on ancient Rome, including the history of the decline and fall of the Roman Empire and Gaius Julius Caesar's own commentary De Bello Gallico. He studied the books rigorously for two weeks, already inspiring him to be more but not yet aware of their coming greater significance. Prior to their arrival in the Grand Canyon, they met with Joshua Graham, a Mormon missionary and a tribal specialist from New Canaan. Already an accomplished scholar of dialects, Graham was supposed to teach Sallow about the local languages. But before that could take place, the Blackfoot tribe captured the three scholars for ransom. While Sallow believed the tribe did this for ransom, Graham would later attribute the change in the tribe's relationship with the party to a mistranslation. 